I know, um, we there was an extension uh, given uh, because I believe the county wanted to take samples of those bins before they were removed. Um, I don't know if the county already took their samples and if they're analy analyzing those samples, but um, I can get back to you and, and give you a, a straighter answer as to whether or not uh, the bins are there. From my knowledge, I, I, I don't know 100%, but I do know that other folks needed to take samples and we were granted an extension. Uh, so the bins have been there since 2016, just to give everybody an idea. It, and, um, and we were ordered by the PUC to remove them. Um, and we were gonna do that. And then um, we were requested to hold on to them until uh, the county uh, health, I believe, was going to, is going was or is going to take samples and, and do their own analysis before before anything was moved. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, I do know that Helen had a follow up question. I don't want to disregard her second question. Go ahead, Helen. Unmute yourself. Helen. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, David. Uh, Mr. Mesa, can you please let these people know how, what the diameter of those pipelines are, the size that you just want to inspect, and what is it really going to take? Because I watched you guys, and I talked to one of your workers after the accident, and he told me, well, these accidents happen all the time. Why are you freaking out? This is just normal for us. And please let them know what the diameter of that pipeline is. Because the one I saw, a truck could go through. It's a huge. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe a truck can go through the. Pipeline. Well, a car can actually. It's my car. Okay. Uh, Juan, I, 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 Juan's uh, on the oper Juan and Mindy are on the operations side, so they would know uh, better. Uh, I think, or, or they may or may not have the answer to that right now. But uh, Juan, can you help me answer that? Because uh, I'm not familiar. 